Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back again with another sequence video. So this, these are in, in Proverbs. So most people think Proverbs is kind of like the book of Psalms where it's mostly like inspirational day-to-day -day type instruction. But even in the book of Proverbs, I found three examples of the sequence, which is absolutely incredible. So I'm just going to skip to the parts that, you know, honor the sequence and then um, go through them. So it's Proverbs 6, 7, and 14. And so my eye usually is drawn to those numbers anyway, because there's likely to be even a bit more numerology built in. And we'll see that here. So Proverbs 6, 3, then do this, my son, and save yourself. So this is a reference to salvation in verse 6, 3, or if you read it backwards, 3, 6, 6, 6, 6, and, you know, which will be in the times that we live in now during this beast system. Okay, so first reference to salvation. Now in Proverbs Proverb 6, 16, so 6, 1, 6, the mark of the beast. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans. Feet that make haste to run to evil. A false witness who breathes out lies. And one who sows dis discord among brothers. And so, you know, we see this agenda going on right now. This divide and conquer. And so, in this case, it's talking about a false witness. But in the last days, we'll, we'll, we will have two true witnesses. So, there's coded language, you know, that it's talking about um, when it's, you know, this is layered, you know, in the end times. And so, we have a reference here to... The 616, you know, and then the things that God hates and he's going to identify them, you know, with sores and then all the other plagues. And then we have a reference to witnesses. And then so that's the wrath of God, you know, the great tribulation period. Then in verse 26, we have a reference to a prostitute, which is um, coded language for America, you know, in the last days. For the price of a prostitute is only a loaf of bread. That's in verse 26, 26, 26, 66. So that's um, coded language for America being destroyed. Verse 27 can a man carry fire next to his chest? That's in verse 27, two times seven is 14. So God's elect, when they return with Christ, they're literally gonna have fire coming out of their chest in these so-called UFOs. And so that's coded language for, you know, Christ returning with his elect, with power. Verse 34, for jealousy makes a man furious and he will not spare when he takes revenge. So the Bible says that God is a jealous God. And so this is a coded language for when God takes revenge on the 3-4, which is 444-FFF-666 and destroys everybody with the mark of the beast. So Proverbs 6, 3, 16, 26, 27, and 34. Honor the sequence. Absolutely incredible. Proverbs 7, um, 2. Keep my commandments and live. This is in verse 7-2. Seven, 7 times 2 is 14. This is for God's elect. So that's a coded reference to salvation. Keep my commandments and live. Okay? And um, then we're going to go into coded language of America. And then Proverbs talks, Proverbs in many places warns about dealing with, um, you know, uh, prostitutes, you know, and like, um, um, you know, scandalous women, you know, and like all that kind of stuff and dealing with another man's wife and all that. Don't do that. And how there's going to be punishment for people that do that. So, and then also in, in Revelation, it describes America as a prostitute. And so this is the coded language, the double meaning. Uh, beginning at um, Proverbs 7.10, And behold, a woman meets him dressed as a prostitute. Um, she is loud and wayward, and her feet do not stay at home. Now in the street, uh, now in the market, and at every corner lies in wait. So this is like, a, this represents symbolically America. It also is literal women who are like that. But know that this is America as well. You know, like getting in everybody's business, you know, and then spreading their philosophies worldwide. So, um, you know, just know that, this is describing um, America. And so then in um, verse 22, all at once he follows her as an ax goes to the slaughter or as a stag is caught fast till an arrow pierces its liver. So now it's talking about like piercing, you know, with an arrow. And then that's what's going to happen to America. And then the Bible says, come out of her, my people. Don't be partakers of her sins in Revelation 18. And so this is the same language. So there's a group of people that follow you know that those philosophies and then they get destroyed you know like it says here as an ox goes to the slaughter um so then we have now a reference to america being destroyed verse 24 and now O sons listen to me and be attentive to my words to the words of my mouth that's verse 24 44 let not your heart turn aside of, to her ways do not stray into her paths come out of her my people for many a victim has she laid low and all her slain are a mighty throng and so this is now coded language for um the many victims, you know, and then this is God in the last days who's going to actually do the destruction. And this is in verse 26, 26, 66. Her house is the way to she hold going down to the chambers of death. And so this is God performing the mass death in the last days, the mass killing. Um, her slain are a mighty throng. So it's going to be like 
this is God returning, killing all the power structures on earth. And so that's amazing to me, you know, that um, even even in the book of Proverbs, it still has, um, you know, prophetic references, you know, and I would say they're they're fairly clear, actually, they're not that coded. Um, <clears throat> Proverbs 14, um, three, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. So now we have a reference to being preserved or saved. Salvation is uh, is essentially not having to be back here on earth. Okay, it's your spirit is out of the body and then it remains that way, you know, and then it will be with God forever, you know? And so, um, just know that that's the definition of salvation. And so that's, that's a form of preservation. Uh, verse 11, the house of the wicked will be destroyed. Okay. So that's now we're talking about, uh, the great tribulation that America being destroyed. <clears throat> America is the house of the wicked. It has every unclean and hateful bird, according to revelation. Verse 15, the simple believe everything, but the prudent gives thought to his steps. So now we're going to have a delineation between two, two groups of people, you know, during this time of the great tribulation. And then we also have a reference here in verse 25, 25 a truthful witness saves lives. So this is two, the two witnesses, you know, in the last days. And then um, verse 28, in a multitude of people is the glory of a king. So now in the, during the great tribulation, the whole point of the great tribulation is to sift out the rest of God's right hand side, aside from his elect. And it's, a, it's called the mixed multitude. And so, like it says here, in a multitude of people is the glory of a king. Um, verse 32, the wicked is overthrown through his evil doing, but the righteous finds refuge in, in his death. And so this is now when God's right hand side are completely removed from the earth, then, um, you know, the wicked is overthrown. So just know that. And then God's right hand side rejoice because then evil has been destroyed. Verse 34, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. That's in verse 34, 666. A servant who deals wisely has the king's favor, but his wrath falls on anyone who acts shamefully. Now we have a reference to the wrath of God. So even in the book of Proverbs, it, um, it supports, you know, the sequence of the end times. It's absolutely incredible. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.